Hey, good people, it's the new moon and time to set some intentions. We're talking about the new moon of April 8th, 2024. And for the first time, I have made two different readings for this new moon. And that's because so many people will be in the path of a solar eclipse with this new moon. And that's a larger energy, and I wanted to make a separate reading for those people who'll be able to set intentions before they see the eclipse. So if you have that opportunity to see the eclipse, if you are in North America, in the southern or eastern part of the continent where the eclipse path is, please go see that reading. Or if the eclipse has already passed, or if you're in another part of the world, let's see what we get for you in this reading. I'll start with the card from the Sacred Traveler Oracle Cards to set a theme for the reading. What kind of thing are we looking at shifting? And I've gotten two cards here, I believe. Desert Passage and Narrow Pathway. So both of these say, this is a difficult transition of some kind. Let's see what details we can get for you with the tarot cards. But this theme says you know, not to be worried about a difficult transition. This is supposed to be something kind of big. And for the current situation, four of wands in reverse. Still shaking things up, apparently. Ten of wands in reverse. You might think something is over, but it really isn't. An ace of cups in reverse. It's hard to feel good about this situation. So these are all in reverse. That says there's a lot not to like about where we are. So we're where we're going... King of Cups, that's a happier card. The star in reverse. And Knight of Pentacles. And this is either where things are going or where you're trying to get to. So this is steady work. This has a, a feel-good or up-and-down element to it with the King of Cups. And that could mean that you're working through emotional issues. With the Star in Reverse and the Knight of Pentacles, this is not based on some kind of distant hope. This is um, working where you are, building things step by step. In Thought, Knight of Cups, oops. So preparing to offer something, or if this is you, yourself, setting things up. And in feelings, Nine of Swords. Not sure what to say about the Nine of Swords. This is... An unhappy feeling. I guess this goes with the current situation where so many things seem to be upside down or up in the air. Now, Nine of Pentacles in the supporting position. That means, I think in this case, it means being in the right place at the right time. In other words, everything is set up to proceed to some kind of success. And what is that success? The outcome is five of cups in reverse. I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to just say that there is a way to proceed. There, There is a forward direction from here, and you're going to be discovering that. But let me go back to the feelings, because that was such a puzzle. 
Six of Pentacles. So this balances out, meaning you shouldn't be afraid to proceed to put yourself into whatever change this is because that will come back to you. And now let me get another card on this outcome, and that is the Fool in Reverse. And I'm reminded that it is Mercury retrograde and not necessarily a good time to start a new initiative, but this card is saying that this is not really a new initiative, that, that the ball has been rolling on this for quite some time now, even if you weren't necessarily all that aware of it. So this kind of has a feeling of an upheaval, as you might expect, with a solar eclipse going on. So many things changing at once, and a Mercury retrograde at the same time at that. The main message here seems to be that this is the way it's meant to go. It's going to come out well. It'll feel a lot better after some things are resolved. So, really, that's a question. What is getting resolved during this period? What kinds of things? I'll get a couple of cards for that. So we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is magnetism, but there's also something of purpose there. And then Six of Swords in Reverse. So knowing what to do and being ready to go again, that's really where all this is heading. In other words, you might have been asking, what is this all about? What does it mean? And that's what you're going to find out, that there is a meaning in everything that's happening. The guidance is joy and delight. So this, in guidance, this says to follow your feelings. That your feelings, your feeling intuition will guide you in the right direction. That there, there is a path here, even if it seems chaotic, and you can feel your way through this. And that is a good strategy to take for this particular moon. Well, good luck setting your intentions, bringing them into reality, making these changes, getting along this path that these cards describe. Happy New Moon.